What's up everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Best Top Super Top truck bed cover. So all you got to do is go on our fit guide to get the right one for your specific truck. But this one is really unique because it's kind of like a tunnel cover but you get a little bit more height to it so you can stack more stuff in it or you can just use this as your camping rig. So you will have two different options. You can either choose to get the windows all the way around or you can grab some that will just have the window in the back. It's all up to you and just check out our website and use our fit guide to find the right one for you. This is kind of a unique product. Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to compare it to. Well, one, it's kind of like a tonneau cover because it protects the stuff on the inside, but it's taller and it's kind of like a tent like the right line gear tent, but you can drive with it, but it's pretty much a camper shell. But the cool thing about this is it's gonna be a lot easier to live with than your normal camper shell, because one, you're gonna to have to have multiple people lift it up to take it off and you gotta store it somewhere. With this, it can stay on there, but we can condense it down. So I would definitely say it is probably one of the most versatile things you can put on the bed of your truck. Comparing this to a normal camper shell, I would definitely say that I think the normal camper shells are going to be a little bit more watertight, but I'm not saying that the seals are lacking. We have plenty of seals here. So one, we have one in the tailgate. So it's a nice big rubber seal. So I don't think that's going to really leak. And all the zippers are hidden by about an inch and a half to two inches of overhang. So I don't really think that's really going to leak. But we were kind of reading what you guys were saying about the cover and a lot of the times you just saw a little bit of water kind of creep in through the sides, but there is a seal down there as well. So this might leak a little bit, but I don't really think that the seams are lacking. I just think it's just not a fiberglass camper shell. But as far as this thing being solid, it's ridiculously solid. The material is pretty much what you see on Jeeps. So it's real thick canvas -y type materials. So this is going to be really strong. And the cool thing about it is the way it's kind of laid out, you, when you set it up, it stretches it really, really tight. So it's not really flimsy and I'm literally, you know, moving it as much as I can and it's moving the truck. So don't think that this is going to be some little chintzy thing that's going to be flapping around like crazy. This thing is actually pretty solid. All of the windows are going to have a nice glued seal all the way around and they are tinted on the outside. We are going to have one window that's not going to be tinted and that's on the inside so you'll be able to still look out the back of your cab and see whatever's in there. So that doesn't need to be tinted, right? So I thought that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just pull this out like this. And then we can zip this up so I can show you that window that's not tinted, which I kind of like that. So then you can see all the contents of the cab right back there. So it's not tinted or anything. And I'm glad that they put a window back here because I was afraid that they weren't and then the water was gonna get into it. But they did. And I like it. Just to reiterate, this thing's super solid. So the way we have it all tensioned up, I really like the mechanism, which is over here. So you just have a little channel to slide through. So once you kind of get it all down, you sit there and you push this through. It has a couple different grooves and it really gets it extremely tight. So just kind of moving this thing around, like it really, and if you really want me to hang on, I can, but it's solid. I mean, I'm really, really impressed with it. I do like how on the inside of the canvas, it's not black like the outside because it kind of helps illuminate it in here. So with, with our little bed rug that we have in here, kind of makes it a little bit darker compared to just the white walls. So having the lighter canvas is nice, but I would probably get a couple lights in here just to kind of light the place up a little bit. Comparing it to a tonneau cover, we're gonna get a lot more bed space that's covered. So from the top of the rails to the very top, we're adding a little over two foot, which is pretty much more so doubling the capacity. So if you have just a lot of bulky stuff, 
you're going on a long trip or you just keep a lot of taller toolboxes in here, this is gonna be really nice and it's something that a tonneau cover won't let you do. But it does install kind of the same way as a tonneau cover. You just have these rails right here and then you just have the clamps. Whatever the case may be in your situation, we can roll this up to where it's kind of out of the way. So what we have to do though, is we're gonna have to take this little rail and slide it all the way out. We are gonna have to find a place to store this, but luckily we have a truck. So just throw it in the bed. And then oh, what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and just roll this up. Probably be easy to do from the inside. Roll it up. And we're gonna have a little elastic bands just like this to secure it and get it out of our way. Once we get it all rolled up, you just take it and we'll just go around the edge like this. This is, is not that heavy, so it doesn't need a whole lot. Well, that's all you gotta do. So if it's a nice day out, we can go ahead and just have this rolled up. We can drive with it like this if we wanted to, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Just put it back down and zip, zip, and we're good. Pretty simple thing. Whether you just want to just have this thing rolled up or you want to condense this down, we're going to have to remove all the windows. So you just take this. It's going to be just fairly simple, but we are going to have to find a place to store the window so you want to store them in a nice safe place the easiest way to take this window off is from the inside so you just slide it and as you're sliding it you're kind of bending it on my left hand side and then just store this in a safe place and then for the sides we want to undo our zippers and then we're gonna have all these seals that we had such a fun time with before. We're gonna to have to just undo all of this and get everything disconnected and stored away somewhere. There we go. To make it a little bit easier to get the rest of the canvas off, I'm gonna release some tension, which all you gotta do is kind of just push back a little bit lift that up oh yeah that's gonna make it a lot easier and do that on both sides and now this will just come off so much easier than before just like that and the same thing for the driver's side too and this is the easy part you just gotta gently let her go back and she should just kind of condense down all nice. You might have to get in there and situate it a little bit. Maybe get it to where it folds the way you want it to fold. And actually, as of right now, even though this side's a little higher than the other, so as of right now, we're still below the backs of our back seats. So we're not really obstructing our view at all, which is cool. And we also have these little straps right here that are gonna wrap around and clip in right here. It is pretty tight, which is good. Let's click that in. After we do our last strap, which is this, and this is kind of cool. So what we wanna do is wrap it around I'm gonna put it into this slot. I found it best to go down here and get it facing up on the other side like that. Slide her in. She's locked into place. And that's just a little added protection. And we do have one of these on both sides. For you fifth wheel or gooseneck haulers, in the very center right here, where all of our hauling stuff is gonna be, it's only adding or taking away about like four inches from the bulkhead. So I would say it's safe to say that you can still maybe gooseneck and fifth wheel haul with this. But if it doesn't work for you, if you look down at the bows, follow this, follow this, there we go. This right here, we can just pull these pins and we can remove these just with our hands. You just go ahead and pull these out and then we can take this whole entire thing off. 
And we can just keep the rails. So it's not really limiting your truck at all. All in all, I think this is for a lot of different types of people. Me personally, I like camping out of my truck. So this is gonna be a really cool option to have a covered, sealed place to be able to go on camping trips. So I don't have to have anything behind me so I can really go deep into the woods. If you are one that just kind of looking for a camper shell, this is gonna be a lot easier to store. It's gonna be a lot easier to put on and take off. This is a one man show with camper shells. Typically it isn't. And then for the tonneau cover people, if you need to cover some of the stuff in your bed, this is going to give you twice as much coverage. So for you fifth wheel owners, if you have a fifth wheel that doesn't stay underneath the rails, this is going to be a great solution for you. All in all, this is going to be a lot easier to store than your camper shells. And also it's going to be one that you can drive with it. So if you were to compare it to like a right line gear tent, you can't drive with that. You can keep this on there all the time and all you need is a mattress, which we sell them. So I think this is going to be a really cool, unique thing to put on your trucks just so we can do a little bit more. And that's pretty much it for a look at the best top, super top truck bed cover.